Hey everyone, sorry that it's been a while. The past year has been pretty hectic for me with the pandemic and school and everything. But thankfully I've been getting some free time recently so I can finally start releasing all the things that I've been working on over the past year or so. The most complete of which I'll be showing you in this video, and that is my Gloom and Shroom add-on. This is a very mushroom-focused add-on, designed mostly around the enormous and complex mushroom temples that can be found throughout your world. Each temple has a randomly generated interior, kind of like a mineshaft or stronghold, so each temple is unique. Their rarity can be adjusted by a slider in the add-on options, as shown here. In these temples, you can find a variety of mobs, decorations, items, and even a new boss with a fully original boss theme. Just as a quick note, this add-on does use experimental gameplay to some extent, though to be honest I'm not sure exactly what things need to be enabled since I always have everything on when developing, so I'd enable all the things shown here just to be safe. Also as a bonus, I've made a showcase world that you can download alongside this add-on if you want to easily check out what the add-on has to offer. With that out of the way, let's have a look at the mobs. The most common mobs found in mushroom temples are the mushlings. While not very dangerous by themselves, do not underestimate their power when in numbers. They can briefly cause nausea with their headbutt, which can be very disorienting if you're hit repeatedly. Mushlings do have a weakness, however. They are kinda poo-brained, and will mistake you for a fellow mushroom if you're wearing a mushroom cap. While wearing a cap, you can tame them with bone meal or rotten flesh. They are decomposers, after all. Once tamed, their cap can be dyed any color. And, when killed, they have a low chance to drop their respective color of mushroom cap. Next up, we have the Mushling Sentry. Mushling Sentries are mobile turret-like mushrooms that fire lasers at the player on sight. When the player gets too close to the Mushling Sentry, it will hide under its protective cap until the player gets far enough away. Just like Mushlings, the Sentry will mistake the player for a fellow mushroom when they are wearing a mushroom cap, but they cannot be tamed this way. Instead, they must be grown from a Mushling Sentry Sprout. When grown from these, they will be friendly to the player and hostile to monsters. Their cap can also be dyed. Be careful of growing them with bone meal though, as you may accidentally dye them white when they are fully grown. Last but very not least is the Doom Shroom. The Doom Shroom is the first boss of this add-on, with several more being planned for future releases. He's the biggest and baddest of all the mushroom mobs, and will easily clobber you if you're unprepared. The Doom Shroom has several different attack patterns that he switches to throughout the boss battle. He punches, smashes, stomps, spins, and even fires his arms out like missiles before growing them back. Once defeated, he will drop a pair of his signature Doom Shroom gauntlets, and will allow the player to break into the treasure room of the temple. I tried my hardest to make the Doom Shroom feel like an actual boss battle, I even orchestrated an all-new theme just for this fight. With that, we have covered all the mobs that are currently in this add-on, so let's do a brief overview of the blocks next. Firstly, there are several mushroom-themed decorational blocks, such as the mushroom slab, mushroom gills, two colors of wall mushrooms, mushroom roots, and the mushroom lantern. Mushroom roots can be farmed by using bone meal on them, and the mushroom slab, lantern, and wall mushrooms can be crafted with these recipes. Another block that can be found in the temple is the mine shroom. They are mushrooms that act like landmines and can grow to adjacent blocks when planted underground, just like red and brown mushrooms, though be careful when harvesting them. The next couple blocks we'll cover may need a little explaining. These are the mushroom barrier blocks. When unpowered, they act like any other block. However, when they are powered, indicated by the yellow glowing cracks, they are indestructible, or nearly. They surround the treasure room and can be broken once the boss is defeated. They can be reactivated by the player by use of the mushroom barrier power source. This block can be obtained from the treasure room chests or by crafting it with this recipe. Lastly, we have the mini mushroom. This block is also found in the treasure room of the temple. When planted, it looks just like a smaller version of the regular red mushroom. However, given enough time, or bone meal, and space, the mini mushroom will easily distinguish itself. This allows you to potentially create a mushroom temple closer to home if you can't find any nearby. The very last part of this overview will be focused on the items and weapons included with this add-on. In the temple, you can find the previously mentioned brown and red mushroom caps, as well as golden mushrooms and their respective stew. 
The golden mushroom acts like the golden apple, but gives the user strength and absorption. It can also be added to a suspicious stew with this crafting recipe to create a new golden variety. This stew grants the player a random set of powerful enchantments. It's like a really beefed up version of the normal suspicious stew. The mushroom staff of transformation, or just mushroom staff, does what its name implies. When you bop a monster on the head, they will turn into a random mushling. This does not work on bosses, however. That would be a little bit overpowered. The next weapon is the Mushling Sentry Eye. It can be found in chests and allows the user to fire lasers just like the sentry it comes from. There's not much more to say about it other than it's really fun to use. The last and most unique of the weapons in this add-on are the Doomshroom Gauntlets. These are dropped directly by the Doomshroom himself and allow you to attack in the exact same way the boss does. You can deliver a powerful punch and fire them out like missiles. Just be careful not to be in the blast radius when they explode. And as a last note, all of these can be repaired with their respective mushrooms at an anvil. So that pretty much covers most of this add-on. I've been working on a lot of things lately, so there may be one or two things that I missed in this video, but if you like what you see here, feel free to check it out yourself. The download for this add-on and its showcase world are in the description. There are many more add-ons that I'm currently working on that are even bigger and grander than this, including the update to my popular cave add-on, so be on the lookout for those in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.